behind the net. Mullen. Score! What a goal! On a fourth check, Matt Sullivan. Puck is not loose. Poke to the far boards. Well, good evening and welcome to the Collins Boylan Arena. It's time for Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. Lou Bordeaux, high above rinkside at the Collins Boylan Arena. Joined tonight by my buddy Tom Alber, doing double duty on the camera, on the microphone. Tonight, the Westfield Bombers are here to take on the Greenfield Green Wave. Green Wave won their season opener on Saturday night by a score of 2-1 to one over the East Hampton Eagles. Westfield comes into tonight's game 0-1 on the young season, having dropped a 3-1 verdict to the Agawam Brownies last Friday night. A few minutes ago, I had the opportunity to speak to Green Wave head coach Adam Bouchard. Look back at Saturday and looking forward to tonight's game. So let's check out Coach's Corner with Adam Bouchard. Lou Bordeaux here with you right before game time. If you look behind us, the calm before the storm. We've got some figure skaters out on the sheet right now, Coach. Joined by Green Wave head coach Adam Bouchard. A couple te technical difficulties stood in the way of our opening night coach's corner on Saturday night. A big uh, two to one win over a game East Hampton Eagles squad. Um, uh, you know, at uh, different times in that game, Coach looked like a can of SpaghettiOs out there. A little bit, a little bit, little bit of this, a little bit of that. All was missing was the Parmesan cheese. What, yeah. what was your take? Yeah, thanks, Skate Doc. Thanks for the introduction here. You know, really excited to be back in the CMA for this Monday early evening tilt as the Bombers come on down. But yeah, if you look at Saturday evening's game, you know, it was it was a battle that we expected. If you look back at the history between the Eagles and the Green Wave program, it's one of those nice, friendly rivalries that kind of gets heated on the ice. And as we as we expected, it was a physical game. Uh, we were able to come out on top, and we were able to execute things that we wanted to in our first tilt of the year. Now we get to come back again here Monday night, 5 p.m. No better place to be tonight than to come watch a high school hockey game. Most definitely. Now, on opening night, we got to see a few new freshmen in the lineup. Lucas Ciano, Jack Laurie, uh, Sean Beckwith, you know, all played... A considerable amount of time out there. What was the take on them? Yeah, I know those student athletes, they worked very hard uh, to get up to this point to become freshmen or ninth graders here in high school. They worked really hard in camp uh, to be able to put them in some situations was something that we were really proud of and really happy for. You know, we're looking for that freshman trio to really be able to contribute as this year goes on. And you look at it um, from a Jack Lowry standpoint, coming in as a defenseman, right? We did relocate Hunter Smith up to forward for the season, which opened up that spot, and uh, Jack kind of stepped right in and took over, and Beck and, and Luca stepped in as freshmen. I think they both had a few shots on net, a few scoring opportunities for your first varsity game, other than putting it in the net and getting a W like we did. It's it's a beautiful thing, but now we're focused on the Bombers here from Westfield. You know, we're expecting them to come in here. We started off our season last year with a 3-2 to two loss up at Amelia Park against Westfield, and I can tell you it's been about 20 or so years since these two teams have uh, really played before last year, right? and it's been about that 20 plus years since Green Wave come away with a victory and again what better place to do it than the CMA and start our year off 2-0. Well no question about that uh, as you say we haven't seen a whole lot of the Westfield Bombers over the years what uh, what expectations are there for this Bomber team and what are we going to have to do as the Green Wave to counter that and take two points tonight. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, Westfield always comes in big. They're going to have lots of bodies on the bench as well. They're going to be able to run three, four, five lines. Uh, Mascheroni, in between the pipes, we got to get lots of shots on him, get him to move left to right. I think it's something we need to do. And really, what does Green Wave need to do? It's kind of been the mantra for the last eight years is do things the Green Wave way and good things are going to happen. And that's what we're expecting tonight from all these student athletes. Sounds good, coach. We'll be in the room in a little while. Wish you all the best tonight, as well as the fellas. We're going to be back with the opening face-off in just a moment. Blake Cavill. 
And we're underway in Greenfield on a chilly Monday night. Westfield won the draw. Ethan Bryant's got over in front of his own bench. Westfield gains the zone right off the bat. Jason Smith has it. Long cross-ice feed. Sammy Knight's not there. Puck is deflected up over the net. Ethan Bryant looking to settle things down just 20 seconds into this one. Clears it out. Corralled by Drew Gensel. Loose puck in the slot. Knocked out to the center line. Ethan Bryant dumps it back in. Puck is dumped deep by Paul Laurie. Held behind the net by Josh Bordeaux. Porter Hall backhands it around. Jake Jerk with the long feed. Just out of the reach of Matt Garvin. Gains the Westfield zone. Gavin Billado collects behind his own net. And the puck was deflected right just to the left side of the center faceoff circle. Goes the length of the ice for icing. Yeah, it's it's been an interesting game so far. Uh, I mean, you know, first couple minutes uh, and, you know, front uh, Green Wave, they already have an opportunity with that icing call, you know. Faceoff's going to be to the left side of Westfield goaltender Evan Mastriani. A stalemate for the draw. Kept in at the blue line by Laurie. Westfield gets it out of the zone. Jack Laurie collects at his own blue line, circles back around. Puck is sent deep. Jared Ritter deflected it. Jason Smith. And Matt Lavoin gets the shot off. Corralled by Mastriani. Face off to Evan Mastriani's left side. 12.46 remain in the first period of play. Matt Garvin on the draw for the Green Wave. Another stalemate. Brody Gagne picks it off. Blocker save. Garvin keeps it into the blue line. Centering attempt by Jurek. Goes unattended. Play comes back towards us. Jurek, nice saucer over to Gagne. Oh, nice poke check by Paul Laurie. Green Wave gets some fresh legs out there. Garvin sends it in. Blocked at the blue line by Matt Garvin. Sends it back down behind the Westfield cage. Smith keeps it into the blue line. Sends it deep. Lavoine with a nice interception.
Battle along the half while Hunter Smith comes out with it. Smith collects, sends it in, banks it off of Matt Lavoine. Sammy Knight couldn't get the good composite on it. Centering attempt. Blocked by Drew Glenzel. Knight sends it back to Porter Hall. Porter's in the neutral zone. Sends it over to Hunter Smith. Hall keeps it in. Sends it towards the net. That's picked off by Glenzel again. Glenzel sends it the length of the ice. That's going to be icing. 10.49 to go in the first period. No score so far here at the CMA on a cold Monday night in Greenfield. Yeah, what uh, uh, Greenfield did well in that uh, uh, last game we, we saw um, was they gave up a couple, uh, you know, penalties. And, you know, it happened. But the thing was is they killed the penalty very well most of the game. Matt Garvin wins the faceoff. Sent into the zone by Jax Grady. At the elbow up high on Jack Laurie. Laurie ducked out of the way. Long pass over to Brody Gagne on the right side. Gagne cuts in, centers, nobody's there. Laurie at the point. Dylan Archer bats it out of the way. Laurie collects, sends it deep into the Westfield zone. Garvin backhands it in. Jake Jurek has it behind the Westfield net. Centers. Garvin in the high slot. With a nice wrist shot away. Blake Cavallon stepped right in front of that one. Dylan Archer. Nice puck out to Luca Santa. Luca gets the shot away. Looking to collect his own rebound. Shot a wide puck, went behind the net. Mastriani got a glove on it, tied it up. 9.40 to go in a scoreless first period here in Greenfield. Yeah. What, what we've seen a lot of uh, throughout this, you know, first couple minutes is Greenfield, they're doing very well keeping on Westfield side of the uh, uh, rink, you know. Jason Smith gets a shot away, goes high over the net. Ethan Bryant has it. Keeps it in. Bomber's shot goes wide. Ethan Bryant wins that battle, carries it out. Gets a shot away, blocker save Mastriani. Cyano. Nice rebound shot. Mastriani smothered that. Definitely the busier of the two goaltenders so far tonight. 849 remain in the first period of play. Matt Lavoine, Sammy Knight, Hunter Smith, forward line out for the Green Wave, Dylan Archer. And Porter Hall on the blue line. Sammy Knight gets a shot away. Saved, goes over the net. Hall collects. Back over to Knight. Carries in. Knight again goes over the net. Lavoine looking to get that rebound. Chips it over the net. Hall sends it in. Battle behind the Westfield net. Hall pinches in, keeps it in temporarily. Matt Lavoine covering him. Finds Hunter Smith. Oh. Tyler Barker carries it back into his own zone. Dylan Archer. Finds Hunter Smith. Couldn't handle the pass.
Brody Gagne kept in at the blue line, got the long shot away. Masterani blockered that aside. Jack Laurie, nice hustle, keeps it in the zone. Jurek looking for the wraparound, went through the slot, nobody home. Jurek again in pursuit. Following Paul Laurie behind the net. Jake Jurek looked to thread the needle there. Play was intercepted. Westfield goes back the other way. Jason Smith carries behind his own net. Look to send it around the boards. Drew Glenzel got the shot away from the far side. J Josh Bordeaux smothered that. Going to have a faceoff in the green wave zone. 6.41 to go in the first period of play. No score on the board. Jared Ritter wins the draw. Dylan Archer sends it around the boards. Shot from the point blocked by Matt Lavoine. Carries the mail. Nice poke check by Drew Glenzel. Got the puck off Lavoine. Stick temporarily. Gavin Bilodeau carries into the green wave zone. And the puck bounces out of harm's way back into the Westfield end of the rink. Under six minutes to go in the first period of play. No score on the board. Lou Bordeaux and Tom Albert with you here tonight. Jared Ritter carries in. Got the shot away. Bordeaux might have got a piece of that one. Deflected up over the net. Kept in at the blue line. Jason Smith intercepts. Settles things down. Carries it through the neutral zone. Stops at the red line. Carries into the Westfield zone. Fake too many. Hunter Smith back to pick it up. Hunter being pursued by Evan Klepich. Kept in at the blue line by Blake Cavallon. Puck is loose in the Westfield zone. Lavoine can't quite get there in time. Pass battered away by Hunter Smith. Greenfield changing up on the fly. Hunter Smith has it. It's a shot away save, Mastriani. Puck is loose on the side of the net. Goes into the corner. Dylan Archer sends it deep. Dylan Archer resets the offense. Sammy Knight sends it deep. Masterani puts the paddle on it. And with Matt Garvin in pursuit, covers. 4.17 to go in the first period of play. No score on the board. Yeah, this this uh, this period, it's been all green wave. I mean, they they've been kind of really dominant. I mean, uh, in this first period, I mean, and that's what you want to see, uh, especially you know second game of the season, and they they're already looking this. Uh, What's well, a good, good take, Tom? This, this certainly has been a f offensively all green wave so far. They need to keep applying the pressure, though. And a trip behind the play. Jared Ritter's going to go off for tripping. Oh, excuse me, that's Ryan Goodrow. First penalty of the game. Going to take a look at the Green Wave power play. Conversation after Saturday night's game was Green Wave might start declining penalties. The power play struggled a little.
Faceoff comes outside the zone. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting if uh, the Green Wave are able to capitalize on uh, this power play. Matt Lavoine gets in tight. Green Wave on their power play cycle right now. Stopped at the blue line by Garvin. Puck went up in the air, sent the length of the ice. Jason Smith collects, recalibrates. Banks it off the boards. Took a funny hop. Nearly disaster there. Garvin keeps it in. Porter Hall's over there. Westfield once again. Backhands it down the length of the ice. Hunter Smith picks it up. Finds Sammy Knight. Knight gets through traffic. Didn't take the puck under a minute to go on the Green Wave power play. Hunter Smith with it at the red line. Circles, cuts into the zone. Backhand. Mastriani got a piece of that, went up over the net. Hall from the left point, takes a look. Hunter Smith picks it up, finds Gagne. Gagne got a shot away, hit the side of the net. An ill-timed change. Westfield carries into the Green Wave zone. It's Tyler Barker. He loses control. 22 seconds to go in the power play. Jake Jurek cuts to the right. He's muscled off. Puck comes around. Hall can't keep it in the zone. Westfield picks it up. Jared Ritter and alone. Hit oh. the post. Hall takes it. Penalty time expires. Team's back at full strength. A minute 45 to go in the first period. Lucas Ayano gets a shot away. Blockered away by Mestriani. Jurek behind the net. Smith has it. Wholesale changes all at once over there on the far side. Glenzel sends it deep. Jason Smith plays it behind his own net in a battle with Nat Sarabes. Laurie gets in there. Finds Jake Jurek. Jurek carries through the neutral zone, dumps it in to the Westfield zone. We're down to one minute to go in the first period of play. Matt Lavoine keeps it in at the blue line. Nope, it's batted out by Sarabes. Still an archer, nice defensive play. Can't get it out of the zone, however. Ethan Bryant battles, puck comes out of the zone. Lavoine carries it in. Drops it for Sammy Knight. Nice poke check by Frank Mafia. Puck goes down behind the greenfield net. 20 seconds to go in the first period. Archer sends it around. Another ill-time clearing attempt. Kept in by Westfield. Puck goes down behind the Green Wave net. Ten seconds to go. Ethan Bryant looking to get out of harm's way. Puck comes back around this way. And fortunately, the clock runs out. Play got a little sloppy in the last minute of play. Well, we've got one period in the books here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield on a chilly Monday night. We've got no score in this one. We're going to take a short break and we'll be back with second period action in just a moment. Ready for second period action here at the CMA in Greenfield. 
Lou Bordeaux and Tom Albert with you here on a chilly Monday night. You're probably sick of me hear, hearing me say it's a chilly night, but holy smokes, forgot the long johns tonight, Tom. Oh. Holy mackerel. Oh, yeah. It was it was a big snowstorm last night. I mean, you know, God's just warmly now. Now we're definitely into winter. Yeah, it didn't take long. No. Yeah, we got a hand pass through the neutral zone. Faceoff's going to go back into the greenfield end of the ice. Haven't gotten the shots on goal in the first period yet. I'm guessing Greenfield outshot the Bombers in that one. But the scoreboard still says 0-0. Zero to zero. Yep. Kind of a weak puck drop there. Jason Smith looks to bank it off the boards. Puck comes out into neutral zone. Paul Laurie has it. Decides to go behind his own cage. Sammy Knight in on the forecheck, finds Hunter Smith. Smith's shot gets blocked on the way in. Glenzel up to Barker. Picked off by Hunter Smith. Hunter Smith on one skate for a moment. Bordeaux takes one off the mask. Puck just bounded. Hit the side of the net. Everybody watched it for a minute. Westfield nearly banged it home. Bordeaux kick save and a beauty. Rebound. Misses the net. Josh freezes it. Faceoff's going to be to his left side. Yeah, yeah, just kind something. of a weird play there. I don't know if the players thought there was a whistle or should have been a stoppage, but there was a whole lot of nothing going on. Next thing, the puck was loose in the slot. Westfield easily could have taken the 1-0 lead. Yeah, something that's interesting right now, I mean, uh, Westfield, they've been a lot more aggressive uh, in the second period so far. Brody Gagne carries it out of the zone. Loses control, picked back up. Sawyer King carried it in. Gagne looks to lead Jake Jurek, couldn't fight, couldn't quite get it to him. Porter Hall. Laid the law down to Rich Moritko. Puck does go for icing, however. Faceoff's going to be to Josh Bordeaux's right side. A couple key saves here in the early stages of the second period of play. Hall comes off. Garvin in to take the faceoff. Jurek backhands it into the neutral zone. Gavin Billado. Over to Mike Pelletier. Puck down behind the greenfield net. Sir King got the chip shot away up over the top. He, he collects. Puck knocked out of the zone. Carried in by Jurek. Sure, nice backhand pass intercepted. Billado speeds through the neutral zone. Cleared center ice, gets it all the way into the greenfield zone. Just as quickly, Puck is back into the neutral zone. Jason Smith gains the red line, sends it in deep. Lucas Sayano. Jamison Polino. Puck goes right through the slot. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. Penalty coming up on the green wave. Looks like it's going to be Sean Beckwith for tripping. And with 11.52 to go in the first period, or second period of play, excuse me, Sean Beckwith, for the second time in as many games, takes a seat for two minutes. Well, 
Kuzma. If we can get a shot of Sean there in the penalty box, this is straight out of the movie slap yeah. shot. Going in the penalty box and feeling shame. Yeah, there you go. So two varsity games for Sean, two times to the box, but both fouls have been inadvertent, so really doesn't need to be feeling shame there. Board, oh, nice save. Our first look at the Westfield power play today. Puck is loose. Westfield got a stick in and went up over the top of Bordeaux. And Westfield with a power play marker takes a 1-0 lead. With 11.25 to go in the first period. Yeah, and I mean, something they had a lot of was those penalties in that first game. This one, uh, you know, just like that, they, they give up that penalty there and it gives uh, Westfield an opportunity to score and they do. Well, team's back to full strength now. Green Wave trail for the first time in a game this season. Dylan Archer picks up the loose puck. Hall's long pass picked off at the defensive blue line, carried back in. Hall once again behind his own net. He gets out of the way. Jurek's long cross ice attempt, that was blocked by Blake Avalon. Buck is carried back in. And Westfield sends it the length of the ice. That one's going to be icing. 10-14 remain in the first period, second period of play. That's twice I've done that now, Tom. I enjoy being here so much. I just want the first period to never end. I know. It was it was a lot of fun watching that first period. I mean, Greenfield, they just needed to capitalize on one of those opportunities that they had, and hopefully, you know, right here, right now, they can do it, get it done. Puck comes out of the zone. Jared Ritter's got it. And he beats Bordeaux short side. It's 2-0 Westfield. Could see yeah. that dangerous play develop here in the neutral zone. Ritter had cut down the left side. Just came in, stepped right around the defense. And suddenly, it's a two-goal deficit. Yeah, Green Wave, they're going to have to work hard to get back into this one. I mean, down 2-0. I mean, you got another 10. Uh, 25 minutes left in the, the whole entire game, and we'll see if they can try to get back in it. Ritter again carries in for Westfield. Steered aside by Jack Laurie. Bombers keep it into blue line. Green Wave are going to have to start playing with a little desperation in their game. Puck is sent down length of the ice. Hunter Smith after it. He's got Sammy Knight. Oh, big save, Mastriani. Oh. Sammy Knight camped out in the slot. Hunter Smith worked very hard behind the net to get that puck out to him. Sammy in just a little bit too tight. Mastriani there to reject the shot. Yeah, and I think uh, what Greenfield, they need to do in the next, you know, nine and a half minutes they have in the second period, at least get one on the board, and it'll feel better going into the third period. Dylan Archer, nice defensive play. Sends the puck into the corner. Archer, another good play. Finds Jurek. Jerk over to Garvin. Garvin gets shot away. It's deflected up over the net. Jerk has it. He's got no help out front. Garvin got there a little late. He was over on the left wing. Puck up into the netting. Faceoff's going to be to the right side of Evan Mastriani. 
eight and three quarters to go in the second period of play. Two nothing Bombers. Two quick goals here in the second period. One thing that's definitely interesting between the Green Wave and the Bombers is that the Bombers, they, they look like they're a much bigger team than the Wave. So, just a little interesting. Garvin got that shot away up over the top. Puck goes behind Brody Gagne. Mike Pelletier carries it around. Garvin again sends it deep into the Westfield zone. Pelletier cuts back. Good poke check. Porter Hall kept the puck in the zone. Pelletier gets it out. Hall backhands it in. Hall banks it out of the zone. Wholesale changes once again. Seen both sides were changing at the same time. Puck once again goes up into the netting. Faceoff's going to be to Evan Mastri Mastriani's right side. Yeah, at least, you know, you've seen Greenfield. They're looking like they, uh, uh, after those two go goals were scored, they woke up a little more. You know, they, they're looking more like they did in the first period when they came out to, to try to score and be very aggressive. And that's what they need to do right now to get back in this one. Well, we've still got half a hockey game to go, Tom. But it's, it's certainly desperation time. Yeah, I mean, 7.20 seven left to go. I mean, you got to work hard and try to get that goal, at least a goal back before you go into the third. Brady Pareda gets his first touch on, as a varsity skater. Lucas Sayano carries the mail out. Dishes it in. Mastriani puts a stick on it, sends it behind his own net. Jack Laurie. Banks it back in. Yeah, plays whistled for an offside in front of the Bombers bench. Westfield leads this one two to nothing. Our next game here at the Collins Moylan Arena will be this Saturday night at 6.30 when the Belchdown Orioles come to town to take on the Green Wave. Yeah, and uh, hopefully that one will be live streamed, so. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. It's been a great partnership with FCAT over the last six or seven years. And we appreciate all that FCAT Sports has done for the program in that time. Paul Puck bounces forward. Sammy Knight's there. Gets a shot away. Hit the side of the net. Mastriani put his shoulder in. Knocked the net off its moorings. Sammy Knight with that quick release. Faceoff's going to be to Mastriani's right side. 6.35 to go in a fast-moving second period of play. Of course, that was kind of what we saw on Saturday night. Second period was over in an instant. Matt Lavoin on the draw. Yeah, and I think on uh, Friday night for FCAT, we have a uh, boys basketball game, so that'll be good, too. Puck kept into the blue line by Ethan Bryant. Carries it in deep. Sammy Knight on a relentless forecheck. Jason Smith picked it up. Bryant once again carries it in. Jason Smith all over the place like a monkey on a high wire. Holy <laughs> cow, he's all over the place. <laughs> Bryant goes cross ice. Smith couldn't quite get his stick on it. He's got Sammy Knight out front. Knight goes behind the cage. Hall at center ice. Archer sends it deep.
Matt Garvin. Nice centering attempt just behind Jake Jurek. Hall with a nice defensive play. Carries behind his own cage. Long pass was deflected by the Bombers. Drew Glenzel works behind his own net. Puck once again goes up into the netting in front of the Greenfield section. 4.56 to go. 2-0 Bombers in this one. And to your point from earlier, Tom, it does look like Green Wave have a little more jump in their step after that second Westfield goal. Yeah. I mean, that's, you're exactly right. I mean, what they just got to do is just find the open man and take a crack at the net. The more shots on goal, the more opportunities you'll have a chance to score. So, Bombers carry in. Puck is loose at the blue line, sent back into the corner. Oh. A couple green wave skaters bump into each other. Somehow the puck finds its way into the Westfield zone. Gagne on the four check. Jack Laurie, nice defensive play, gets the puck out of the zone. Jake Jurek on the right side. Cuts back, takes a look, circles. And we got a whistle. Once again, the net comes off the moorings behind Evan Mestriani. 3.47 remain in the second period of play. Combination of Matt Lavoine, Sammy Knight, and Hunter Smith stay out for the faceoff. Hunter Smith applied the pressure. Sammy Knight picked up the loose puck. Archer. His shot was blocked. Sammy Knight, he's got room. Cuts in. Oh. I'm almost, I'm almost a little surprised there was no call there, but. Well, Sammy was looking for the penalty. He got shouldered into the goalpost for the third time this period. That net came off its moorings. No call on the play. Sammy checks his edge. Seems to be okay. Yeah, 3.05 left to go, and hopefully Greenfund can find the back of the net and try to get back into this one before the third. Matt Garvin directing traffic. He's thrown out of the faceoff circle. Brody Gagne going to step in to take the draw here. Puck goes length of the ice. Icing against the Bombers, 2.55 to go in the second period. Face off down to Mastriani's left side. Green Wave looking to get it together here in the late stages of the second period. Garvin on the draw, wins it. Won it, but it went to nobody. Westfield picks it up, carries it in. Bordeaux sticks that one aside. Jurek, it's a three on two for the green wave. Finds Garvin. Garvin hacked at the last minute. Couldn't get the shot away. Jason Smith at the blue line. Puck is cleared out. Sent the length of the ice. Official waves off icing. Dylan Archer carries it behind his own net. Banks it off the glass. Oh. 
play getting a little physical right in front of us. Matt Lavoine gains the Westfield zone. Puck is poke checked out by Mike Pelletier. Bombers send it around the back of the Greenfield net. Hunter Smith picks it up behind the Westfield cage. Jack Laurie, nice job, pinched in. Kept the puck alive. Mastriani bats it away. Puck bounces out. That's not going to go to length of the ice. Jack Laurie has it. Sends it across to Dylan Archer. That one does go for icing. Face off back in the green wave zone. A minute 23 to go in the second period of play. Things got a little out of control. A little chaotic there, Tom. Yeah, I mean, Greenfield, they, they got to pick it up a little bit. I mean, uh, you, they, they're looking uh, very aggressive, but... You know, you got to make good passes and try to find the open man, so. Nice cross-ice feed. Lucas Siano in pursuit. Smith rifles one off the glass. Lavoine down behind the net. Mastriani ties it up. Faceoff's going to be to his right side. 56 seconds remain in this second period of play. Garvin won the draw over to Jason Smith. Long shot. Oh, Mastriani put the stick on it, dove on it. Yeah, great job by uh, Westfield's goalie. Well, a green wave with 49 seconds to go. Need to keep applying the pressure because they would love nothing more than to make this a one goal hockey game going into the third period. Oh, Jason Smith shot just went wide. Mastriani kicked the skate out for it. Just missed the net. Jurek. His pass was blocked. Ethan Bryant sends it back into the Westfield zone. Gagne on the forecheck. Battle for the puck right in front of the referee. 15 seconds to go. Smith once again gets a shot away. Knuckleball. Smothered by Mastriani. Faceoff's going to be back in the Westfield zone. 10 seconds to go. 10 ticks remain in the second period of play. Yeah, I mean, these last three or four minutes of play Greenfield, they've been, they, they, they're looking to get back in this game. Really, really trying to. And they're looking good, so. Archer sends one towards the net. That's blocked. Backhanded out of the zone. That's going to do it for the second period of play. After two periods of play, Westfield Bombers, two. Greenfield Green Wave, nothing. We've got 15 minutes of high school hockey coming back in just a moment. For my buddy Tom Alber, I'm Lou Bordeaux. We'll be back in just a moment with third period action. And just like that, we're ready for third period action. Lou Bordeaux and Tom Albert here with you tonight from the Collins Moylan Arena, the CMA in Greenfield. Yeah, but it's definitely been uh, a great game so far. It's just unfortunate that Green Wave is, they got to work hard in this third period. So we'll see what happens. It's been a tough night so far for the Green Wave. They're on the wrong side of the ledger, 2-0. Westfield on top in this one. Green Wave take it deep into the Westfield zone. Right after the opening draw, Hunter Smith. Matt Lavoie just couldn't capitalize. Puck is loose. 
And it's tied up. Puck was tantalizingly loose there in the crease for a moment. Yeah, you got to think one of these eventually they'll, they'll find the back of the net. I mean. Well, and sometimes when you want to get momentum to shift, it takes something like that where the other goaltender then looks at that puck the way it was just sitting there for a couple of seconds and says, holy cow. Yep. And Green Wave, I mean, right there, they looked like they did in the first period. I mean. Westfield on a two-on-one. Nice block by Porter Hall. Another nice block, that time by Dylan Archer. Hall gets a stick on it. Sends the puck into the Westfield zone. A nice save by Bordeaux. Puck goes behind. Archer battles along the half wall. Garvin comes out with it. He's got Gagne to his right. He's hooked. No Whoa. call. Centering attempt. Blocked. Kept in by Gagne. Garvin got the shot away. That was blocked. Puck comes out into the neutral zone. Jason Smith carries the mail. Gets the shot away. Mastriani got the glove on that one. That was labeled for the top corner. A scorching 45-footer by Jason Smith. Uh. Looks like the Green Wave have come out for this third period on fire, Tom. Yeah, they really want to win this game, and then that, that's what they're going to have to do. Just work hard, and eventually something will go your way. Smith again sends it deep. Laurie pinches in deep to keep it in the Westfield zone. Hunter Smith covered him back on the point. His shot's blocked on the way in. Jack Laurie picks it up, cuts behind his own net. Reverses. Nice tape to tape pass by Jack Laurie. He finds Hunter Smith. Hunter circles. Backhander. Lavoin just couldn't get the good composite on that one. Hunter Smith has it. Oh. Mastriani with a nice smother. 12.49 to go in the third period of play. 2-0 Westfield. And we should have this live stream up for the next day or two here on FCAT on the YouTube channel anyway. So we will be back here live this Saturday night. Matt Lavoin just shoots that one wide. This coming Saturday night, the Belchertown Orioles come in to play the Green Wave. 6.30 face-off time here at the CMA. Hunter Knight chipped that one, or excuse me, Hunter Smith chopped, chipped that one over the top of the cage. Smith carries it back in. Mastriani banks it off the boards. Two on one the other way. Sean Beckwith. Lucas Anna looked to bank it out. Picked off in front of the blue line. Kept in the zone by the Bombers. Jamison Bellino. Oh. Nice poke check from behind. Gavin Bilodeau. Two on one the other way. Oh, nice defensive play by Jason oh. Smith. Three players go into the cage. Smith, Bordeaux, and one of the Bombers. All three look like they're no worse for the wear. Yeah, I, I uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought you, you're not allowed to really like interfere with the goalie. 
Well, it's true, Tom, but in a case like that where the play is just going in that direction, uh, had, had the puck gone into the net, the goal would not have counted. But that was really incidental contact there. You know, just glad everybody's okay. Yeah. Puck comes back around. It's Jack Laurie. Finds Jake Jurek. Jurek carries in. Just led Brody Gagne a little too much. Gagne's got it. Jurek. Save Mastriani. Jurek had cut in. Was right on the doorstep. Matt Garvin. Jack Laurie, another good defensive play in front of the Green Wave bench. Dylan Archer blocks it with his skates. He's got Jurek. Jurek drops it for Garvin. Garvin's shot is deflected by Paul Lowry. Carried through the neutral zone, Jared Ritter. He scored the second Westfield goal. Garvin sends it around. Sent back deep by the Bombers. They're changing. Kept in at the blue line. Jack's great. He sends it in. Jurek. Long lead pass. Ethan Bryant has it. Plenty of open ice, plenty of space. Lavoine sends it out, finds Hunter Smith. Hunter carries in, cuts. Nice centering attempt, nobody there to collect. Porter Hall hustles back. Sammy Knight backhands it. Goes down into the Westfield zone for icing. 9.06 to go in the third period. 2-0 Westfield. Yeah, I mean, the the one thing I see is Greenfield. They, 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 it, the periods that they're kind of like almost winning is the first period and the third period. I mean, it's right now they have nothing on the scoreboard, but they've been playing very well in those two periods right now. I mean, we still got nine minutes left to play, but we'll kind of see what happens. I mean, it's still 2-0 Westfield, so kind of their game to lose. Puck goes wide of the Greenfield net. Porter Hall looks to bank it out of the zone. It's picked off by Frank Mafia. Hall gets it out of the zone. This and we got a call against Westfield for a high stick. We're going to take a look at the Green Wave power play with 8.32 to go in the third period. That's Gavin Bilodeau going to sit for two minutes or less. Yeah, West, or Greenfield, they really got to capitalize in the next two minutes, try to get one in the back of the net and make this a one-goal game. This is a big power play and a big opportunity for them. Soria King loses control. Mastriani got a stick on it. Lucas Ayano got the shot away. That was blocked out front. Puck has rocketed the length of the ice. Jason Smith back to pick it up for the green wave. Looks to set the power play up. Makes a long stretch pass. Sayano picked it up at the blue line. Carried into the zone. Ritter once again sends it length of the ice. Bordeaux puts a stick on it, holds it for Smith. Minute 15 to go in the Green Wave power play. Jason Smith, plenty of space, puts the Rockets on, carries it in. Oh. His shot just deflected over the top of the net. Just about a minute left to go in the power play. 
Smith gets knocked down. Jurek got knocked out the blue line. He's holding his neck. Hall finds Lavoine. 35 seconds to go in the Green Wave power play. Hunter Smith centering a Oh, big blocker save. And the puck's held on by Mastriani. 18 seconds to go in the Green Wave power play. 6.49 remain in the third period of play. Couple of big hits right in front of the Westfield bench. Oh, here we go. Maybe. Puck is loose. Oh. Kept into the blue line by Jason Smith. Finds Hunter. Low wrist shot. Estriani makes the save. One second to go on the power play. Yeah, so I think, if, correct me if I'm wrong, I think there's uh, been three penalties this game, one on Green Wave, uh, which led to the Westfield's first goal, um, and then uh, one in the, the first that they killed. Or, uh, yeah, Westfield had a penalty in the first period for tripping. Teams are back to five aside now, 6.25 to go in the third period. It's getting to be desperation time here for the Green Wave, Tom. Yeah, 6.25, I mean... Maybe run like a tricker play or I don't know. <laughs> Faceoff's going to be in front of the Green Wave bench. Puck bounces over Jack Laurie's stick. Tyler Barker got the shot away. That went wide. Archer. Kept in by Billado. He gets a shot away. Bordeaux got the glove on that. Faceoff's going to be to Josh Bordeaux's left side. Six minutes even remain in the third period of play. Looks like Coach Bouchard has shuffled the lines a little bit. He's got Lucas Siano temporarily anyways. Out with Brody Gagne and Jake Jurek. But out comes Matt Garvin to take the faceoff. Westfield wins the draw back to the point. Shot goes up over the net. Garvin finds Jurek. Took two bombers to get the puck off of Jake Jurek's stick. Play comes back the other way. Sent deep by Brody Fitzgerald. Jack Laurie. Circles, oh. cuts. Left Fitzgerald in his tracks. A oh, big battle behind the Westfield goal. It's going to result in a Westfield power play. Jurek and Brody Gagne sandwiched one of the Westfield players. Oh. Referees are talking it over. With 5.12 to go. Oh, uh, and they're giving Gagne a five-minute major. No, excuse me. It's Jake Jurek, a five-minute major. Yeah, I mean, uh, it gives us uh, that. That's huge for the uh, the Westfield Bombers. Five on four with five twelve left to go in the game. I mean, that's pretty much a power play for the rest of the game. Yeah, game. and unfortunately, with a major penalty. Should the Bombers score a power play goal, that man stays in the penalty box for the duration of those five minutes. So barring a miracle here, Coach Bouchard is talking to the official, looking for some clarification on why that was called a major. But the two officials did, did confer over it. Uh, and as I said, uh, Jurek and Brody Gagne sandwiched that Westfield player. But 
This mountain just got a little taller for the green wave to climb here with 5.12 remaining in the third period. Yeah, they'll need like some sort of miracle and a, definitely a, a shorthanded goal if they want any chance of coming back and winning this one. Nice defensive play by Hunter Smith at his own blue line. Jason Smith sends it deep into the Westfield zone. Four and a half remain in the major penalty to Jake Jarek. Ritter gets it down behind the green wave cage. Matt Lavoine fires it around the boards. It's going to go all the way down. Of course, there's no icing in the shorthanded situation. Mastriani saves it for Ritter. Westfield looks to get it out of the zone. Garvin on the tenacious four check. Precious time ticking off the clock. We've got another penalty coming up on the green wave. This one's going to be on Brody Gagney. I mean, uh, like, like we saw uh, last game we, we went to and we covered was the penalties. I mean, you know, Green Wave let up uh, a bunch of penalties and this is not good. I mean, five, five on three. <laughs> And a quick whistle there. Referee is hunched over, not the goal line. Checking his mouth. I think uh, he took a stick in the mouth after that faceoff. Skates over the greenfield bench. Athletic trainer Jamie Coffin takes a look. So as we look up at the scoreboard clock here at the CMA, 3.39 remain in the third period. Uh, it's dire circumstances for the Green Wave here at the second game of the season. 3.28 remain in the major penalty to Jake Jurek. Minute 58 in the minor to Brody Gagne. And if the Green Wave ever needed a miracle, Tom, oh, now's oh. the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, so they're going to, you know, they're going to take a quick break. Uh, and so we, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. So the referee over there being attended to by Athletic trainer Jamie Coffin, the best in the business. Each team gets an involuntary timeout. Neither team would be charged here. Yeah, what would you, uh, on a five and three situation, how would you even, with a couple of minutes down 2-0, how would you do it? How would you pull that one off? Well, what, what would have to happen here, and I certainly hope it does, is... There would have to be a, a, a quick turnover by the Bombers, maybe an intercepted pass, and there would have to be a breakaway that the Green Wave would be able to cash in on because already being down two men, you certainly don't want to have any of your players caught up ice because then it could be as much as a 5-on-0 breakaway the other way. Yep. Bordeaux gets a stick on that, held on the side of the net. Garvin can't control. Two on one the other way. Shots blocked by Porter Hall. Another block by Hall. Finds Garvin. Glove saved by Mastriani. Quick whistle. Quick whistle. Garvin knocked the puck into the net, but the whistle had gone, so it's no goal there. Face off to Mastriani's right side. 3.10 to go in the third period. Oh, 
Archer chips it in. Sammy Knight on the four check, takes a body. Westfield certainly has the numbers here. Two on two the other way. Ethan Bryant backhand pass, finds Sammy Knight. Knight's shot was just going wide on the short side. Mastriani put a blocker on it. Another lob by Dylan Archer. Two and a half to go in the third period. Bombers control inside the green wave zone. Oh, Bardo, oh. what a save! What a save! Gavin Billado was back door. Josh said no. Nice block by Garvin. Garvin poked it. Oh, Garvin hit the post from 30 feet away. Green Wave, even though they're short, five on three, showing signs of life these last couple minutes. Westfield loses the puck. Jason Smith got the shot away. That was blocked. Yeah, Jack nope. Grady put an ankle in front of that one. He's hurting for certain. We'll go back to five on four in a second, but. Penalty to Gagney's over. It's five on four now. Minute and a half on the scoreboard clock. Puck goes into the green wave zone. Jack Laurie's back there. He carries it around. His long stretch pass. Oh, just out of the reach of Sammy Knight. Westfield goes back the other way. Gagney, another long stretch pass. Finds Sammy Knight. Knight can't control. Down under one minute to go. Westfield leads this one two to nothing. Bordeaux still in the net for Greenfield, unable to get out for the extra attacker. There's going to be another penalty on the green wave. Oh. I mean, uh, tripping. 39 seconds left, and you can't really afford to go back to five on three. I mean, you, you, you can play aggressive, but. It'll pretty much end the game. I mean, it will it'll end the game five on four. Yeah, so the green wave been short for over five minutes. Most of it has been five on three. Lavoin carries in. 25 seconds to go. Down to 15. It was a breakaway, but Rich Maritko was just offside. Just got into the green wave zone ahead of the puck. Eight seconds remain on the scoreboard clock. Major penalty to Jurek has expired. Face off just outside the Westfield blue line. Eight seconds to go. Green Wave are going to come out on the short end of the stick tonight. Go to one and one on the season. And that's all she wrote. Westfield Bombers out to salute Evan Mastriani. Shutout victory tonight. Yeah, I mean, it, it was definitely a great game. I mean, the only thing that you really can take away from this one if you're Green Wave is at the end of the game, you don't want to be giving up those penalties. And then the other thing is uh, just try your best to, I don't know, I mean, they did everything they could offensively, um, especially in that first and third. Just got to clean it up a little in the second. Well, the Green Wave offense just could never get untracked for tonight. 
Uh, they had a few really solid scoring attempts. Not enough, though, obviously. And you certainly can't win a hockey game with zero goals on the board. Uh, not a bad hockey game, but certainly not the game that uh, the home fans wanted to see. Usually we recap the goals, but geez, Tom, there were no Green Wave goals tonight. So I will say that uh, during a pretty challenging second period, Westfield got on the board, a power play goal with Sean Beckwith in the box. Blake Cavallon found the back of the net. He was assisted by Sawyer King on that one. Then just a minute 20 later, uh, you could see the play developing. Jared Ritter cut down the left side. And uh, he, was, uh, he was fed a nice dish by Frank Mafia. Found the back of the net. 2-0. So in a, min in a minute and 20 seconds, this game completely turned around and Green Wave could just never come back from it. Yeah, and hopefully on uh, Saturday night, is that the game? Saturday night, 6.30, right here at the CMA. Now, in between there, we do have a road game. The Green Wave will take the longest road trip of the season. We go out to Sheffield, Massachusetts, to take on the Mount Everett Eagles this Thursday night. Game time is 7.15. We'll have no coverage of that one, uh, and it is a two-hour ride. So if oh, anybody oh. is brave enough to go, we'd love to see you out there at the Berkshire School. But other than that, it's going to be back here at the CMA on Saturday night. Belchertown Orioles will be in. And, uh, you know, we're going to hope for better things. Yeah. Any last things, Tom? Uh, hopefully, you know, the next game is on the road. And hopefully they can come back home and be 2-1. So. All right. Sounds good to me. So wrapping it up from the CMA, Collins Moylan Arena right here in Greenfield. Final score, Westfield Bombers 2, Greenfield Green Wave 0. I am Lou Bordeaux for my buddy Tom Alber. Doing double duty tonight on the mic, on the camera. I thank you for your time this time. And until next time, so long from Greenfield. <laughs>